with Ray Sweeney, the Life Specialist. Welcome to the Get a Life Show, the show that gives you the tools and principles necessary for an outstanding life. Today's segment is called The Quote of the Day, and today's quote is, Birds of a Feather Flock Together. Now, what this quote simply means is that people perceive that whatever group that you hang around, that you have the same type of interest. Same type of likes, dislikes, you participate in the same type of activities, you have the same type of mindsets. So when you hang around a group that has a label attached, then that label is generally attached to you, whether fairly or unfairly. So let's take a positive example, okay? Let's say, for instance, you hang around a bunch of college students. All of these kids go to school, they all uh, have 12 credit hours, uh, they're always studying, and if a person sees you in that group, then chances are they're going to label you as the same type of person. They're going to assume that you probably go to college too, you're probably a studier, and you go to school. All right, let's take it in a negative sense. Let's say you hang around a group of people, the same kids, uh, but this time they're all drunks. They all go to clubs. They all bar hop. Uh, they all go home crashed out of their mind. Well, people will have the same perception of you, that probably you're a drunk, probably you bar hop, and you have those same type of interests. Okay? So you, you see on both situations a positive uh, one and a negative one. Now, listen, sometimes you have to realize if you don't want the perception that people have, then you have to watch who you hang around. So, young ladies, if you hang around a bunch of females that are considered to be sluts, then yes, people are going to probably consider you to be a slut. You might say, well, that's unfair. Well, why would you hang around a bunch of sluts? Think about it. Uh, gentlemen, if you're an educated man, uh, let's say you go to church, let's say uh, you're real red, but yet you hang around a bunch of thugs, who wear their pants down to their knees and wear their hats backwards and have earrings coming out of their nose and ears, well, chances are, even though you may be intelligent and educated, chances are they're going to think you're a thug because the perception is that you are who you hang around with. If you didn't want the perception of a thug, why would you hang around them? So that statement can be true, and sometimes it's not true. But the bottom line is, if you don't want a certain tag, then you have to make sure that you don't hang around people with that tag. And if you do want a certain label, if you do want people to perceive you in a certain positive way, you have to make sure that you surround yourself and that you maintain a certain atmosphere when you're out in public. If you want to be, uh, if you want to be considered a serious person, an intellectual person, then chances are you need to be around people who are like-minded. If you want to be considered a person who loves their children and, and takes care of their wives, then family activities is a good place for you to start. Uh, married men, if you want to be considered a good, loving husband, you don't hang around a bunch of single men who bar hop and go to clubs all the time because birds of a feather flock together. This is the quote of the day, and my name is Andre Sweeney, the life specialist, and I'm here to help you get a life.